saw this on Facebook and YouTube and didn't think it was true, but let's try it ourselves. Now we got a piece of cabbage here. It is, yes, real cabbage. See, I'm gonna go like this. Hold on. See, nice country cabbage. To our bit to piece up. So, uh, what basically happened was they put a piece of cabbage over the burner. Let's see if we can break this up a bit. They put the cabbage over the burner and uh, it didn't burn, it melted. So we're going to see if that happens here. Was that a... Hmm. I'm itching to try this out and then I noticed uh, Shao Lei over here. Say hi. Hi. Hey, uh, everybody. Uh, she's cooking hot pot for us. <laughs> Delicious. And she's cooking regular pot for boys. That's not spicy hot. Yeah, how about that? Okay. Now ours... And like the lady on Facebook, which I'm calling bullshit, because basically hers melted like it was plasticky rubber, fire, flame retardant rubber. But, uh, okay. Although I think I left mine on a little, maybe a little longer. No, she had hers on three, four minutes. That's definitely burning. There's no rubber smell. And yes, we're still going to eat it. I'm not going to waste. So. Let's see. Okay. Let's see, the stretch test. Ooh, hot. Holy crap, it did kind of... It did stretch. Let's heat it up again. Nope. Holy crap, I can't... There we go. I can't pull that apart. No, it didn't stretch. Yeah. I think the lady on Facebook was using uh, was using uh, probably a fake fake cabbage. Yes. Because did you notice she had the ball of cabbage, but then she, the piece she used to test over the stove was already separate in her other hand. Uh, yeah, I know I didn't take this off the ball of cabbage, but uh, unlike her, I did take a bite out of it to show that it really actually is edible. Let's do it again. Obviously, I know. That moisture in there will keep it from burning, at least until the moisture gets hot enough. Actually, it does feel kind of plasticky, but see, ours just snaps apart. Hers actually looked like a piece of rubber that was just stretching once heated up. So, I think actually I thoroughly destroyed this piece. Let me pull the leaves off. Let's try the grit. Grit of it as long as we're at it. And I'm gonna put the hot pat, pot back on. Uh, since this is the hardest, most absorbed piece. Once it got nice and hot, it still snapped. So I call, I call shenanigans, right? Shenanigans? Yeah. Yes, we call shenanigans on the lady that cleaned her shoot, cabbage. Her genetically modified cabbage was rubber because this is definitely GMO product because this is not organic, and packaging even says product of partially genetically engineered, blah, blah, blah. But I call bologna and sh hot shenanigans on this lady. So, in the meantime, at least enjoy seeing our hot pot of doom. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 oh. fogging up there. Now, to normal people, 
this is going to make your butthole burn like the fires of hell. But for people like me that can eat pretty much anything spicy without feeling it or tasting it, this is pure delicious goodness. So far to date, I have never found somebody that can eat spicier food than me. Do you hereby certify my claims? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I've been able to clear whole restaurants just due to the spicy smell, right? Yeah. Okay. Proof is in the pudding. See y'all later. Smile, cheese.